And a really good question, and that is, what's the difference between uh, 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 dwell volume and dead volume? So let me make a couple of uh, uh, clarifications here. The term uh, dwell volume is a well understood term. I'm about to describe it. Dead volume, instead of using that term, um, we have a, a term that we call extra column volume. Extra column volume says, how much volume do I have outside of the column? So we sort of think I can't control the volume of the column or I'm spending a lot of money on a column. So I bet that company did a good job of sort of you know, compacting it as, as much as possible. So what I do have control over is the tubing that I use to connect the column. So every piece of column, I'm sorry, every piece of tubing that you use to connect the injector to the column and the column to the detector, anywhere between the injector and the detector, that will affect your extra column volume, that will affect your peak shapes, that will make your peaks uh, broader, not skinnier, but broader. So extra column volume is something that we want to minimize on all of our, all of our LCs because that is the volume outside the column that's going to affect our efficiency, it affects our peak uh, skinniness. Uh, so the other thing we need to talk about now is the dwell volume. So extra column volume, we want to minimize, that's up to us. Dwell volume is defined as the volume between where we form a gradient and where it actually touches the column. So the gradient is going to take some time to get from the pump to the head of the column, and this is just physical. There are some tubing in the instrument. There are some tubings and some fittings, and the, the mobile phase has to get from wherever it's formed to the head of the column. In real life, depending on the generation of your instrument, on half of my instruments, that dual volume is one milliliter, which means it takes one milliliter volume from where I tell the, well, I tell the instrument to change the mobile phase to when it actually hits the column. My analogy for this is um, thinking about your, your shower at home. So do you ever step in the shower and then turn on the water? You would never do that, right? Why not? I bet you know exactly within a millimeter where to put that handle for the exact right temperature, but you never step in the shower until after we turn on the water. Why is that? Because we know it's gonna be cold water. There is a time, there's a volume between our hot water heater and the head of our shower. That is the dwell volume. Uh, how long does it take to get the mobile phase, to get the column, why is that important? Well, I don't wanna step into a cold shower. So we need to know dwell volume because as we go to different instruments, it will affect the chromatography. My easy answer is don't overthink this one. Don't, for most of you, don't even measure it. Don't overthink it. Um, it is what it is. It, it's, it's, a, uh, uh, it's a function of your instrument. It will affect you if you take a method from one instrument to another. As you transfer methods, then you're going to notice the dwell volume. Then you're going to notice this, this difference. Uh, you'll see a difference in the retention time, especially at the beginning of the gradient. I just would shrug my shoulders and say, yep, that's dwell volume. Um, that's, uh, uh, that's what it does as we go from one instrument to another. If it affects the separation, well then adjust the conditions to affect the separation. So if you wanna go deeper on that one, uh, send me an email and tell me you want more information about dwell volume and how to measure it. And we'll do a little deeper dive. Maybe I'll show you actually on the instruments themselves. So thanks for joining us. Um, if you have questions, go to axiomlabs.com, ask questions, uh, or join us here live at one of our hands-on bootcamp classes here in Chicago. So look forward to seeing you again, either on one of our uh, websites, one of our webinars, on our YouTube channel, or here in person.